Felice, what did we just get? We just got the We Create Infrared Laser. That's going to let us engrave on what? Metal business cards. We could do tumblers. All get it. Basically anything that's made of metal. We can do some stainless steel stuff on our that's kitchen right. stuff, on knives. That's right. Uh, I think we could do plastic as well. well. Let's take our other module out, put this in, see what we can do with this thing. Really excited to throw this two watt infrared laser in. Here it is in the box. Take it out. Everything you need, including instructions. Now we tried the QR code to get to the installation video, but we couldn't find it, but maybe you'll have better luck. They give you a couple of uh, aluminum sheets to practice with. And here's another power board that you have to install. And they do give you a tool and some screws in case you drop them and they fall into Never Never Land. So what you're gonna wanna do is take this one off. So you pull it all, you didn't know you could pull this up, did you? A lot of people don't realize that. Pull it all the way up into the right because you're gonna need to be able to see these tiny little connections and screws. So you're gonna take these four screws out. There's two in the top. And this is actually holding your your diode laser module in place, these four screws. And this is really hard because it's behind. And now there's two on the bottom. You see there's two in the middle, leave those two alone. That's for the rail, you don't need to take those out. So those four screws are gonna come out, then you peel this little piece of tape off. Now your installation might be a little bit different, but this is kind of how it works. You see you have this ribbon cable here. You flip this little, it's like a bracket. You flip that up and pull it out, it slides right out. Try not to bend that, because if you break those little leads, you're gonna have some trouble later on. You'll need to replace that cable. They're not expensive, it's just kind of a pain. So the air assist is still tucked in here and is still connected to my machine. The infrared laser module does not need air assist because you're not gonna be cutting. So you just clip this little plastic tie off. Be really, really careful because you don't wanna nick that air assist tube. Otherwise your air assist will shoot all over the place and it won't work real well. And then there's a little nut on here, just loosen it off. Mine was pretty easy, I could do it with my fingers. And you just pull that off. You won't need air assist, so turn that off in the software when you're working with your IR laser module. So you can just put that aside. And here is the replacement power connector. I think it's a power connector, I'm not really sure. And you see there's another ribbon cable in there under a piece of tape. This one's actually glued to the rail. So be really careful when you lift that up. They recommend using tweezers or something to get under there and pull it up in one, one complete pull, but very gently so you don't break it or crimp it. And then you're gonna do the same thing, lift that little black tab up and just kinda, once the glue on the bottom loosens a little bit, kinda wiggle it out and pull it out of there. And then you're gonna take the old board out. Now I'm not sure if there's a big difference in here. This is kinda tricky to pull out because they actually glued, it looked like they hot glued mine together. So I couldn't get this apart. I actually had to take a heat gun and kind of melt that away a little bit before we could scrape it off with a pair of tweezers. So not too much. You don't want to melt any of the wires or anything, but just enough to get it loose enough that you can work with it. And then Felicia took her tweezers and then pulled it out and then I was able to get my cable out of this thing. Now put that aside. You're going to keep that because when you put your, your diode laser back, you're going to want to put that module back in there and two screws hold this one down just put the two screws back in that you took out before again there's a couple extras in the kit and then reconnect this ribbon cable back to that power board again I'm, i think it's a power board i'm not exactly sure what's going on here so we're just going to connect that and then put your little tape back over it and then plug this back in the same way the other one was now there might be a little bit of glue on there you might have to kind of brush that off clean that off so it slides right in there and that's it, you are ready to go. Now here is the infrared on the left, the diode is on the right with air assist. I'm just gonna put that aside because I'm gonna use that again, don't throw it away. So you can't do what you can do with a diode with an infrared. This is a whole different paradigm here. So you pop that right there on the back where the other one went and you're gonna put those four screws in. Again, it's even harder to put them back in because you're. You really need like a dentist mirror or something to get back there. I'm like all bent over. You can't see where I am here, but I'm kind of leaning over the side of this thing to see where they are. So I got them in there finger tight. I found that was the easiest way. Just kind of felt where they went and then went back with the Allen wrench and tightened them all up. And that seemed to work really well. You do want these all in there and you want it pretty tight for alignment purposes. Otherwise your laser module is gonna wiggle all over the place and that's not good. It's not gonna be accurate. And then the other ribbon cable that we took out, the first one, just slide that. That is the same board that was there before. And this will tell your We Create Vision that, hey, there's an infrared laser in here. And this actually controls the computer module in there. 
So that's it, it's in. Let's try a couple material tests. Now this is supposedly really good for doing metal, stainless steel, aluminum. So we decided we were going to do a matrix. It was Felicia's idea, great idea. And we're gonna do a matrix to see exactly what it can do with this sample black aluminum sheet. So we popped it right in there in the middle and you see it's black, it's hard to see. So it was really hard to gauge where that matrix was going. So we put a piece of wood under it. So that was pretty cool. We cut our matrix and we did a couple of designs on the back and the QR code, we just wanted to see what kind of detail because QR codes have a lot of tiny detail. We wanted to see if it works and we tested it on the phone and it worked perfectly, we'll show you that. So hold on to this array, you might wanna use that in the future. Here's the QR code test and boom, right in there, right to our YouTube channel. So that's perfect, make sure you subscribe. So let's try some jewelry now. Now we set this up in the software and it didn't align perfectly. We're probably gonna have to run some sort of alignment. I had this on the camera, it looked like it was in the middle of the back of the watch and this engraved pretty low on the bottom. But in terms of material, it did a great job. I can't rub this off and it will personalize your metal. This is a stainless steel back, so it did a wonderful job here in about the middle. And I may or may not have faced currency, but it did a great job on nickel and whatever pennies are made of. They used to be copper. I'm not sure what's going on. I can't rub them off and I will keep these forever and make jewelry out of them. So there it is, the We Create Infrared Laser Module. Pop it in your We Create and let's see the magic that you can make. We're gonna do a little bit more with jewelry and practice with the alignment and we'll post some videos here soon.